Lola has been waiting for Miss Dee Dee to start the groom. And look at her, she is just chilling, waiting. Do you have a doodle like this? If you do, comment below and let me know how much you love your doodle. I don't know about Miss Lola, but I'm going to tell you right now, my doodles, they don't, I mean, they're good on the table, but Lola's got this totally different demeanor than my boy doodle. My boy doodle is a party animal, and if you haven't been watching on my Snapchat what he's been doing, I'll tell you what he loves to party. <laughs> Welcome to Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to hit the sub, like, and share as you watch me groom Miss Lola. All right, Miss Lola, are you ready to get down to business? You ready to get down to business, girl? Huh? Let's go, come on. Come up here. Hey. So the last time Lola came in, we did a... We, we actually did not touch anything here. We did not touch anything on her body. I read the file. The last time Lola came in, we did not touch anything on her body. We let it grow out. So it's been just under eight weeks and she is definitely thick everywhere. We did a face, feet, sanitary, tidy up. It was chilly, but it is not chilly no more. We hit 101 degrees a couple days ago here in Fort Worth, Texas. And I'm gonna tell you right now, like, booyah, it is hot here. So we're gonna do, I love a seven blade. Pet parent, female, likes a little bit longer. So we're gonna do a five blade. I love a seven blade. My doodles are really thick. My boy doodle with a five blade or a four guard, he still pants at nine and 10 o'clock at night. So that tells me he's actually really uncomfortable. So he has a seven blade right now and he loves it. He is happy, rambunctious, and he's not panting at nine o'clock at night anymore. So you're welcome to do what it, whatever it is that you wanna do for your doodle. But if you don't know what the upkeep on a doodle is, I challenge you to get a chihuahua, okay? So here we go, let's get started. Thank you, MP. I appreciate you for being a member for 42 months. Those of you guys that want to be a member, you can click the description of the video right under the title and become a member. Those of you guys on the feed, I really appreciate you watching and being a part of what we do. And I, let's move. Let's get started. I keep saying that, but... Miss Lola, you ready? Let's go. You want to lay down? You want to just lay down? Okay, let's try this. You want to just lay down for, for some of it? I can let you do that. This is 
some really you got some really funky stuff right there. Yeah. You know, sometimes you, you know what you want to do, but sometimes you want to try something different before you do what you think you really should do. This is one of those moments. We're going to do a four. I'm going to see what the four does. If I don't like it, then I'll go to the five. Because I know the pet parent female will be here under two months, and she wants a little length. So let's just try it. So I'm going to grab my four blade. I don't love it because the teeth are wider, the blade's thicker, it's choppier, it doesn't cut as fast unless you brush all this out, but we don't want to be here for three, four, five hours, hopefully, okay? Let's start in the back where you won't notice it in case I don't like it, but this is long, leaving the hair longer than the five blade. So if I'm going to take it down shorter anyway, we shouldn't even see what I'm about to do. You see I can't even get through the hair? It's because there's curly hair on a doodle. It won't even go through. The four blade wants to tug. Don't force a tug. I want you to hear me clearly. Don't force a tug. Why? If you force a tug, you're going to pull skin into your blade. Don't do that. If it's tugging, Brush it all out and then go back with the blade, which me and Pet Perrin discussed before she left, which what might tack on another 45 minutes to an hour to the groom process. We're cool not doing it. So I'm going to try one more time and then we're going to go to the five blade, which should just cut like butter. Let's see. Yeah, no. No, I'm doing the four blade. Okay, moving into the five blade. I am actually ch choosing a ceramic five blade, and this baby should be like butter. Let's see. Boom. Remember, what I taught you yesterday is don't take the blade off with the screws. If you're messing with those and the tension's off, you will find yourself with a blade that doesn't work. Send it to me. We'll get it sharpened to you by professional sharpeners, and we'll send it back, and we'll do it as quickly as possible. Let's use a five blade. Let's go. Let me bring you guys in a little closer. How about that? I think about you too. Come on this side so you can see better. We'll zoom in. I'm not sure two dogs. I got a couple feeds going, so you might need one one and there might be another one. I don't know, maybe um, hopefully you're all right out there. Start back up here. Like I like to start at the neckline. You can even come up here and do this. Right behind that bone right there. I'm leaning a little bit. This will be a long shave, so I wanted to raise her up. I don't have her on a crew loop because she's a big dog. If she jumps, it won't hurt her necessarily. And she's being so cooperative. I'm going to let her just chill. And when I get to a point I need her to stand up, we'll change what we need to do, okay? You could do the same thing, or you can just get upset that the dog won't stand up, which is not this pointless. Two dogs, that's a great idea, but if you're going to just shave all the hair off, just skip the brush, unless you're going to do like the four blade. That's what I think, anyway.
sit there and save me time, I just go right into the trash. We got something there that was healing, so we need to slow down, kind of look at it, and I'll come back to it with the tin blade. We have another bump right here. I'm saying this out loud because pet parents may be watching, mom may be watching, dad may be watching, so I'm like, there's a problem here. There's a bump here that I don't recall. matted right there so if it's matted all underneath we'll just change up the blade notice I'm giving myself that stretch back but I'm not my body is up against the table I'm over the dog I don't want to hurt my back so watch your positioning I'm purposely stretching So to keep your lower back in good condition for 20 years, you want to get up close. Don't be back here leaning in, okay? You know this spot right here, I keep hitting it because it's not supposed to be there. I'm going to get my 10 blade and go ahead and just chisel it out and see what's there. While I'm grooming, if I see things I want the pet parent to see, I go ahead and take evidence. I suggest you do the same. It doesn't hurt, okay? What do you think doctors do when they talk to you, sit you down, look at everything, they, they take notes? They may not take pictures, but like you go to the dentist's office, they take x-rays, right? What's so different about that? Take notes. Write it down, have a chart, look at your body, this and that, this and that, right? They really want to take care of you. Get our five bed, blade back going on. Wow, there's another one here, man.
You, you know, I gotta say this, the last few times that we groomed her, right, she wasn't like she needed to lay down, right? Have you guys th thought about that at all? Think about that for a minute. And I'm seeing some weird stuff, like just interesting things on her skin and body. Food for thought. Okay, food for thought. I want you to keep that, um, keep that thought in your head. So as we go into summertime, make sure you guys are doing your heartworm preventative. This reminds me of scenarios where I'm grooming a dog that has heartworm positive. So if you are in Texas, make sure you're doing your heartworm preventative, okay? I gotta stretch you out some here. Are you okay? Is something going on? Can I gonna stretch your leg here a little bit? When you come in and you're doing this knee, I'm letting her sit, but it's very dangerous in here, all this skin that's folding in the knee. So if I can't get what I need to get right, I have to have her stand up or you can slice into her, like your armpit right here, you know, or like your thigh or what, you know what I'm saying? Like when the skins come together, when your body parts come together and there's that skin, you can easily get it right through the blade teeth. So I'm working it, but it's a it's not a good position. 
which is, no offense, standing up is really key on doing a job that's safe. You can get away with a little bit of this and that, but in the long run, they have to stand up. I say that right, but we do a lot of disabled dogs here, don't we? <laughs> So now we really need to get in there, right? You all right? Let's do this. What? You never talk to me like that. Are you okay? Do I need a cone head? If you're not feeling well, I can understand that part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you are kind of doing your. Look at her ears. If they were short ears, look how cute they would be. Can you see the short ear now? Are you okay? Can I, can I touch you? Because you were fine before. I look up. Good. Okay. You okay? Are you okay? As we come down the knee here, it's matted, so what I'm going to do is use a seven down the legs. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. try sometimes to alternate even though you're not left-handed just practice a tiny bit so that if anything ever did happen you would be able to at least kind of finish out your day or something like that okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of left-handed here it's matted so that's again we're doing a seven if not even a ten it depends on safety matted all in here we're using a ten blade in there if you haven't talked to your clients like maybe how I talk to my clients which is in totally I like prepare them for war, world war Okay, and I'm not joking. When I brief in a client, usually we've talked on the phone for about two hours or three hours before they come in, sometimes just an hour. But I don't neglect to tell them how clear I am about the way I conduct business. 
which means when I have your dog on the table, if I feel uncomfortable, I'll call and get permission. But I know these clients specifically are okay with me making the best judgment call for their dog. But if you haven't had that discussion with your client, unfortunately, I don't recommend just doing whatever the heck you want to do. Don't shave a dog that they did not want to shave without permission. So make sure, even though I'm here working, I've already had those discussions prior with my clients. I'm really picky, so I want them to make sure that they're okay with my pickiness before we move on to being clients for each other. Because they don't have to hire me and I don't have to serve them. So in this case, I keep calling out these things, but don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm just going with the flow. I've already got pre-approval on different things for the dog. So I'm telling you what I'm doing, but I did not just not communicate with them two or three grooms back on where we were at, eye to eye or not. Does that make sense? So make sure you use communication, not only in your life, in your relationships, with your family members, with yourself, with God, but with the dog and the dog owner. Okay? Capiche? <laughs> so don't just do what you want to do. It's not your dog and you're not the paying client. They are. Matted. The front legs are really long, like my boy Doodle, and they're really bony once we take them down with the seven. So even though I'm doing the seven in most other places with the legs, like I said, in the matted areas, what I am gonna do is do the five blade where I can and then really tighten up with the seven blade. But I'm really watching how close I am with the five blade and the seven in the front legs because of the boniness that is left behind once we do take down all the hair. And, it, and when I say it's matted, I'm okay, I know what to do, I'm just letting you know the reason why I'm not going to continue right there with my five blade. I ever cool my blades off with the coolant, but I am now because I'm using only one five speed or five blade, excuse me. I'm using only one five blade because I don't use this blade enough to have a lot of them. So right now I only have one out. If I have to get two, I will, but I can use the coolant because this will we'll wrap it up pretty quick. If this area is matted at all, you need to change your blade. The five blade has big teeth gaps, so skin will pull, just like the four blade, 
and there's a lot of skin movement in the neck to go in between the muscle and the bone that kind of moves in the esophagus, all that working together. If you are doubting, if it's knotted, go shorter and talk to the client about it because you don't want to grab skin in there and it will happen. later we're going to finish out the legs with the seven like I said so let's get our seven blade out remember as you're taking off your blade off and on your clipper don't mess with the screws okay thank you for the donation MP I appreciate you I appreciate your donations those folks watching if you're learning and having fun and I've taught you something throughout your time with me my favorite groomer please comment below That blade actually is a little loud. If it's too loud for you, push mute. And I need to oil that blade, so just keep in mind, keep a track of what you need to do tonight at the end of your day. But that blade needs to be oiled. So let's put that over here. I just pulled out a different seven blade. If you're having fun, let me know. How are you? Let me know in the comments below or the live chat. Are you having fun watching this doodle? Lola, she's awesome. Isn't she? She's amazing. Don't get upset with us, okay? 
Uh, she does not love her arms and legs touched, so I know that. And I'm being careful with my eyes wide open, okay? I'm faster with my right hand. Go this way. Look. Okay, look up. Look up here. Go on that side. There you go. Tricking her. See how mad that is? See this? I'm going to lift your tail, okay, up. There's knots in there. Then how you stand up? Thank you. I'm gonna do a lift up. Ready? Up, up. Good girl. Up. I'm gonna get re regroup on your tail. Ready? Up, 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 up. Now you see how brown this hair is right here? Minus the white hair, okay? The brown hair is where she urinates from and she's really, 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 really licking this till it's like maroon. This may be 
a warning that she could have a urinary tract infection or a bladder infection, so keep an eye. If she licks a lot and pees a lot extensively, maybe have accidents in the house, keep that in mind, that might be a good indicator. Okay, so check this out. If you ever had a bladder infection, it just remember how I said keep up. So you want to look at all these things. You're working with the animal. Her be, her behavior is amazing, but it's calmer and like I want to say lazier, but it's not lazy. She's laying down. She didn't do that before. She lays in the tub, but not during the grooming, you know. So put all this in your head as you see it happening, and put two and two together. I'm not saying I would run to the veterinarian, but if I lived with a dog, I would say, what did Dee Dee say? Let's see if we're seeing this happen. She's licking a lot. She's li like laying around a lot. She's got some bumps now on her body. Like, like maybe something's going on. Let's get some blood work done, you know? Make sure you guys can see. I've moved you guys back a little bit better. We gotta clean that back there more, okay? We have to go back back there one more time, okay? There was a tiny bit of poo, so let's try it. We'll go up. Let me take. Well, let me change the subject. Good girl. 
See like this chunky stuff, little tiny bits of poop. So on my boy doodle, what I noticed is it does, it sticks around the area. And I got a towel now, it hangs there by my sink. It's called the boo towel, you know? And we just wash his boo boo as much as I can remember to every time he's pooing. So get those juices off and the, you know, that stuff. And I know it's a pain in the bum, but we love our animals. So spend a little time doing some quality cleaning because it's just gonna sit there and accumulate and then that juiciness is not good. It will just cause brownness and irritation. So a nice little white bee and done, done. You might have to do it twice a day, three times a day. Okay, seven blade back at your feet. I'm gonna use a cone head um, because you don't love your feet mess with. I can then go into, if I do the cone head, this and that. So we can finish your neck first and then go into the cone head, okay? Now, I don't know if I'm talking to you guys or the pet, but either way, I, I know you guys can hear me, right? Yep, and you might wanna make sure you have fun at your job because then it won't feel like you're working so hard. All right, Pookie Puppy, thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate it. Woohoo! Those of you guys out there watching, please let me know you're having fun and thanks for being here. I really appreciate your your fanness. Okay, we're gonna take this off first. I need to loosen this up so I can get under her neck. Let's do that. We've got our five blades. All right, we'll come back in here. Matted. We got some mats in there, so I want to be really careful, like I mentioned. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I'm going to do this. All right, let's try again. We're going to come in with our tin blade and just not heavy handed. You're so welcome. I want to make Lola happy, do the right thing, safety first, but make the par parents happy too. You know what I mean? That's, to me, excellent customer service. Okay, let's go into, we've got this on now. We've done our, let's check to make sure that I do it. Well, we can check behind your ears. Huh? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me come back to here, like that.
Okay, we're going to tidy that up. But while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and chisel some of this out. These I call my ear shears. They're a short point tip, and you should get some. They're awesome. You can get some of the brands that they have now, which is at mypapergroomer.com. Have a few different options. She, I'm not using a bubble tip. She does. She's doing pretty great with her movement. So, hey, why not, right? But this is really. This is. Um, this has got some stuff going on there. You all of a sudden look really happy. I love it. Okay. Yeah. It's here. Do I recall that you hate your feet? I can't remember exactly. So can I put this on for a moment? You know I gotta do your feet, right? Okay, let me see. I can't remember, but I have a good gut instinct. So let's just try to do this together, okay? I got the cone head on, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, and this is a comfy cone, you can do both, the comfy cone or the cone head, one of the two, but this will buy you some time without having to use a muzzle, okay? Because if she's not really aggressive, but she might react to something I'm doing, then it's good to have just a quick boom, boom, like she hits me and she goes boom with the comfy cone on or the cone head on rather than actually taking a bite. If you let a dog bite you, you may be the one to help that dog get put down. Because if you get bit and something bad happens, you might find that the animal control is gonna show up and have to handle it. And I don't wanna be in that position. So I always think about the animal first. Just because I have to do my job doesn't mean I need to get bit that puts the animal in harm's way. Yeah, um, so I, I don't really care about me being bit, but I care about this dog being put down because the dog bit me. If you don't know that for your clients, please educate yourself and know the laws in your county and city. Do they, Jill? <laughs> you know what's funny is most doodles do do that, right? All right, so now we're going to do the 40 blade on the pad since I already have the cone head on. And yeah, I oiled my table. I don't know what it's doing. I got to do a little bit more research on what I need, why the. It needs oil somewhere. I'm gonna pick up your, you ready? one hand so I'm going to try the dog up Sam to kind of just allow her to lean into it 
This is the XL dog up stand. And if you're going to get an XL or a large, depending on the dog you're grooming or the breeds you're grooming or the dog you own, you want to measure underneath to make sure you get the right size. See how this XL fits her? This XL will not fit my small female doodle. It will fit my large male doodles, just like it will fit Lola. And I don't want it to raise her up and lift her up, but I do want it to assist the hold because all her weight is on my wrist. Wait, 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 put your foot down. There you go. One more. You're doing really good, okay? One more. You have lots of hair in there. I don't know what the deal is. Why does the hair grow so much in there? Those pads. Hmm? Okay, ready? Here we go. Ready? Well, I'll let you go just a second.
Alright, so while we're in here, before I take the cone head off, I'm going to get into the nail trim. I want to say when I was glancing, the nail trim in the bag doesn't look really bad, but I do want to glance at and get really in close and look. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just look. Yep, there are some for me to take here. Not a lot. I get it. Not a lot. I get it. I get it. Wait, let me look. Let me look. Lola, Lola, let me just look first. Ready? Here we go. Two more. Good girl. Oh, you want to give me this one? Okay, thanks. Let me see. Hold on, you're all right. You're all right. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You see? Let me look. Let me look first. Okay. Hold on. I can't let go and do it at the same time. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Lola. Lola. Lola, you're doing good. There you go. Give it to me. Thank you. No, no. I have a couple more. I have a couple more. Okay, hold on. We don't need this for the front feet. Let me see. Let me see. Look up. Look up. This one. Good girl, we're done with that one. Good, good girl. Up, 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 turn this way. Look at me. We're good, okay, we're good. All right, we did good, okay? Are you sweating? Because I am. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got one more call to do. You're silly. Look at your cute face, though. I know it's not your favorite thing. It's okay. Ready? No, that way. No, 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 no. See? Okay. You're done. You're done. Are you done? Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Lola, sit. Sit. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, are you okay? You've been wanting to lay down the whole time, huh? Stay there, we're not done. Let me change out this to this one. Okay, here we go. Now, we got one paw left, okay? Here.
What do you think? Go ahead. What's your comments right now? This is not working. Twice. This one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Let me look. Okay, here we go. Two months? I have to do it. You know? Okay? Okay? All right? Mm hmm? You got through it. Okay? Mom wants to trim your tail, so we'll do that. changing blades different to accommodate I have to go back on the seven the five the ten the matted the this the that whereas if I would have done the seven blade we would have been done already like boom because if the seven would have went under all the mats to begin with but I had to go you know what I'm saying so we are doing extended work to accomplish happiness but for me I would have just said no just no 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 right So the tail is matted and I'm going to have to cut through some of this stuff, assuming that I'm not going to shave the whole thing off. base of the tail. It's still matted. We're going to keep going.
So what I did first was I took my 10 blade and I just sliced out, I just sliced straight. I didn't sit, I'm not going to sit here for an hour and be mad or tail or 30 minutes. I don't want to. I want, we need to be moving, right? We're already probably hitting around two hours, right? One hour and 30. I, I don't know. I can feel it. And so I'm not going to spend 30, 40 minutes on the tail alone. So I need to find out how I can make it go faster without shaving it. And it's not matted on the outside, it's matted on the inside, right next to the skin. So the last time when we left it longer, right, I suggest we don't do that. Unless we're all on the same page and we are brushing every day thoroughly. Just like the puppy doodle that came in a couple weeks ago. They are really brushing that dog hourly. You know what I mean? Like, not that everyone can do that, I'm just saying. This entire piece is matted. I'll save that one, and now we can go comb and probably trim, so let's do that. Still not underneath, let me see if I can do something, don't sit down yet. Up, up, up. try to get this manageable for the pet parents. So I know she wanted the tail trimmed, but let's really make sure it's manageable, like not so thick. So my preference is I'm actually going to run a guard a little bit over it and around the sides and then trim it and make sure it's all decently even. Since I kind of did take out some mats so, let's see, she don't like, most dogs don't like their tail mess with, so then you're battling that problem. Right? Better? <laughs> Manageable, less thick. And now check when you brush, check with your comb. You have to run the comb through. If you don't run the comb through, let's get those suckers out. So yesterday I taught you the skimming that I like to do. It's pretty awesome to be able to learn how your clippers work really well and what blades you can use to do some skimming.
Make sure standing up for that. Make sure standing up for that. I need to take a quick drink right here. Do you need a quick drink too? <laughs> you want to try? You want to try to drink something? Your face and everything, okay? I'm gonna lower her down. Okay, so I took her out for a drink. Go ahead. Did she take a drink or no? Yes or no? Go ahead. Tell me. Let me know. Come on. Good girl. so well, right? Isn't it interesting? She is so obedient. She's so kind and loving and sweet and understanding, right? So most dogs would, won't even give me the ability to say, hey, let's go. Let's go get a drink and then come right back. Do they? You know, they're wild and that's who I groom. I groom aggressive, senior, disabled, not a regular Lola's in the world. So Pet parents are veterans, and I thank you so much for your service, and um, yeah. Phyllis, you're right. The answer is no. She did not take a drink. She smelled it, but there's too much, in my opinion, there's always too much anxiety, and they're hyper, and they're going, they're emotionally going through stuff that they're, they don't need to drink. They just want to be done, but I gave her an option, right? Hello, Mona. Okay, here we go. Let's um, wrap up her face. Two, two guard. Up. And I'm going to go two guard lightly. Because I don't want to take off too much. I, I know they like her face. This, this part is real dirty, so I have to wash that first. They like her face, but they don't like the, the fat cheeks. I don't know if you remember watching the first groom she did. We had to really tone down the cheeks. So now I feel like we got it under control. We're just going to just take care of it. We're just not going to take it all off. We're just going to take care of it. Trim it, maintain, maintain it. I'm going to go reverse a little bit here. Go backwards against the grain. And yes, curly hair is really hard to cut, isn't it? Look at all that curl in there. Nice and easy strokes. Try not to leave any lines. She's got a nice high bone right there, so try to keep that under the hair if you can. Sometimes it doesn't work out perfectly, but try. You can get every single tool I'm using. I believe in selling what I use, so you can help support me and shop at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. 
If you're wondering what a two guard is, you can email me, click on the description of the video and find a way to contact me. It's all over the place. This is the rough end. I'm still going to go to the bath. And so I'd like to get all the hair off because I don't like wasting my time. And wasting time drying hair that I'm going to take all the way off is, to me, inefficient. Since I used to be a one-hour groomer, and I'm pretty good about keeping my time, but large dogs, they just take longer. You can't, you can't rush a large dog a doodle. You can't rush a doodle, okay? So if I am able to groom a dog, from start to finish in an hour, there you have to watch your time, and I'm really good at time efficiency. So one of the techniques that I've been using for 20 years is that I rough them in, bathe them, dry them, and rough them out, and that usually saves a lot of time for me, allowing me to go faster and get done faster, not wasting my time. You don't get your time back. I saw the ears, they don't look all that great, but I'm about to end the feed, pet parent. I'm about to go to the bath, dry and rough in, so probably 40 minutes I'll be done, I hope. Drying is going to take our longest time, and I'm going to trim up our feet all the way before we get done, but this will be the end of our feed for the day, and I just want you to know I really appreciate you.
You got knots in between your toes. Let me see. Good girl. Can I, I want to look again on this last one. Okay, can I lift up? Rick, give it to me. Give it to me. A oh, good girl. Yeah, it's matted in there. Good girl. I know that was a tough one. Now we see this. Can you see this one again, please? Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Settle, settle. No, no, no. Settle, settle. Thank you. Wrong foot. See, I tricked you. I got tricks up my sleigh. between the toes so what I'm going to do is go back to that last foot that I did first and make sure I get all be sure be sure you understand there are there's webbing don't just get in there as fast as I'm going it's not that easy make sure you know and can see what you're trimming okay got it one more let me double check this one because I was going to round it out and teddy bear it but there's too much it don't look too bad, but I want to get inside of it. Yeah, there's definitely tangles in there. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Good girl. Let me see. Um. Wait, 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 let me look. Wait, 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 good girl. Wait, good girl. Wait, wait, good girl. Let me get all that out. Good girl. Wait, 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 wait a minute. how deceiving these mounts are in here. Wait. Good girl. Good Lola. Good girl. Good girl. Let me see one more time, please. Can I spread it open a little bit? No. I know. Let me see. Don't kick. Don't kick. Don't kick, honey. Okay. Can you oh, go ahead and sit? Will you sit? Sit now. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry, 
do that. Hold on, let me take a picture. She's following me around. Here, look over there. Oh yeah, it's really bad. Let me see. Ooh, they're funky monkey. Thanks so much for the donation. Two dogs, I really appreciate it. Two dogs, thanks for your 38 months membership. Woohoo! Two dogs. Get you some. Okay, yep, just so you guys know, she did not drink that water. And right now we're gonna go to the bath. Pet parents, give me another 40 minutes or so. I'll text you. Those of you guys watching, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share, and shop with us at myfavoritegroomer.com. Again, I su I'm so excited that you're here and sharing my work with me. Yeah? Yeah. And we'll see you on the next live.